What is going on everybody? It is your boy Dylan Tox back at it with another video and it's looking like Tom McDonald is getting some massive pressure over not talking about the Russian and Ukraine situation. I have countless DMs like this. All I have to say about Russia, Ukraine is that I'm watching it in real time with all of you. I have no more information than you do. I have no insight that's any more valuable than your own. Millions of people around the world have already weighed in on this situation. There are seemingly endless amounts of tweets, articles, videos, etc. Many of them have done so through a lens of what I assume is profound ignorance. Most people have no business talking about something that has just recently been contextualized to them through clickbait headlines and accompanying articles they've largely ignored. If you want an educated opinion, tune into a political commentator. But even with the commentary, of a supposed expert, and I use that term loosely, I would argue that you might not learn much more than you already know. We're all watching this from the outside. The real truth lies somewhere on the inside, behind the heavily guarded walls and through the doors and rooms we will never be. Instead of being another ill-informed social justice keyboard warrior on the internet, I choose to hold hands with ones I love a little tighter today. I choose to offer compassion to those who have lost the ones they love in the mess, and I pray for resolution that will save lives of the people who are fighting. But while we're still speaking on Tom McDonald, I did come across a post today about an announcement a huge announcement related to his new album, The Brave, and how it's going to be coming to streaming platforms. What's up, guys? The world is definitely going through it right now. But we're going to go ahead and we're going to drop our brand new video this Friday at 9 a.m. We are also dropping the digital version of The Brave. This is the first digital album I've ever dropped. I like to do physical CDs. I like to completely cut out the music industry. The problem with that is I might have unintentionally cut out some of you guys. I think it would be really unfair if two of the biggest independent artists in the world came together and made this album. And there's tons of people out there who didn't get them. And those people might never hear the album. So in the interest of being fair to absolutely everybody, the digital albums will drop on Amazon and iTunes this Friday at 9 a.m. with the new video. Get your pre-orders on iTunes and Amazon right now. We're trying to make music industry history here. We could potentially top the Billboard album charts, something that I've never done. Brand new video and the digital album drop Friday morning at 9 a.m. It's Hangover Gang forever. I love y'all, peace. Now, lastly, Tom McDonald seemed to make a post about remember when I got that Eminem beat and made Dear Slim? The physical items that came with the beat just arrived. An autographed vinyl of M's first album, Infinite, and an autographed shadow box with the film from the Slim Shady LP. And a pair of Eminem's Jordans. We definitely have our differences politically, which I sometimes poke fun at. But as a person and as creative, it's nothing but the utmost respect. After all, the man is the reason I started rapping. Not sure if he'd be stoked to hear that though. Anyway, you want to cut the cake? These are some historic items from one of the greatest rappers to ever live. I'll tuck it away in a safe place and along with the Dear Slim video, they'll serve as a reminder of the most epic thing an independent artist on the planet did last year. Maybe ever. Pretty rad. Whether you guys have it, if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you push that notification bell and feel free to subscribe if you have not already done so. And as always, it's been your boy Don Tox. Stay tuned.